Okay. Hey guys. Another way you can progress is through class titles. Class titles are what you get for beating all the bosses on your first NG, and then beating NGs thereafter. Um, each class gives you a respective uh, bonus. Uh, currently with nine classes giving armor, attack power, uh, mana regen, resistance, gold gain, health regen, skill power, crit damage, and skill crit damage, respectively. Um, this is another way you can power up your gameplay as you go through the game. Uh, although I would recommend what you can do is farm gold and ore on your more successful already established character so that you can power up these characters faster than when you did when you first went through the game um, with your original character. Uh, if you would like though, you can go ahead and do that with your new characters and if you enjoy the struggle, but just for time consumption sake, I would recommend going through with your old character, getting the money and ore, buying them the town upgrades. They'll be a lot stronger and much more easily able to take on those bosses that you struggled with originally. Um, I would also recommend fully upgrading your town before you do this. Um, fully upgrading your town and getting stuff like the chapel upgrades is much more significant than a lot of the other stuff you can do. Um, anyways, uh, I'll go through the which what each class brings to the table so that you know. Uh, Paladin gives you armor. Ranger gives you attack power. Uh, Sorcerer gives you mana regen. Warlock gives you resistance. Uh, thief gives you gold gain, priest gives you health regen, wizard gives you skill power, gladiator gives you crit damage, and the witch hunter gives you uh, skill crit damage. Now the gladiator and uh, witch doctor, I mean witch hunter, can only be unlocked via the DLC. So if you want to get these bonuses, which are very powerful, uh, you're gonna have to go ahead and fork over that money. Uh, but yeah, that's how. Uh, the class titles work. All right, so this is the Magic Anvil. Magic Anvil is huge and very important for progression. Um, I don't have this one maxed out, I believe. I believe I was pretty close. This is my thief on my main profile. Um, and we'll just go over what the Magic Anvil is for, uh, what it does for you, and why it's so great in progression. Um, so, we'll start from the bottom and go over everything that's here. Um, so, the Magic Anvil, first of all, is something that allows you to collect blueprints. And blueprints, at first, are kind of underwhelming because, for the most part, it's not worth it for a lot of these items. Um, at the beginning. For sure, because you have skills and other things that are much more viable to put your, or I guess really just skills that are more viable to put your stars in. Um, so when you get these uh, blueprints, there's two things you can do. You can either craft them or you can attune them. Crafting them costs ore and you get them uh, kind of like buying an item at the shop for this run. You can only craft one item per run you generally want to be smart about it both because it costs ore and because you only get one of them. Um, so the important thing to note here is there's some items that are much better than others for specific reasons and also based on whatever you're playing. Um, for example, one of my personal favorites is the spiked flail. It gives three physical damage on primary attack. When you attune an item, it acts as if there's two of the item in your inventory. Uh, on my everything you need to know about here is a hammer watch video. Um, someone helped me out by commenting about uh, percentages and I got it wrong on... I believe it was... Uh, the, the one of spell piercing and the... There's another one, I think. So these don't pierce 30% of magical resistance. What happens is you pierce 15%, it becomes 85, and then you pierce 15 more percent of that 85, which is then slightly, you know, less than 70. Um, so that's just a clarification I feel like I have to make. Anyways, 
but it, that that's how it works it acts like two of the same item in your inventory rather than oh this effect is doubled don't think of it as doubled it's two of the item in your inventory so for example any percent chance for an effect to happen such as um Let me find one. Uh, Lifestone. You have a 15% chance to gain one health when killing an enemy. What this does is when you kill an enemy, it rolls two, 15, two separate 15% chances. And then if they both succeed, you'll get two health. If one succeeds, you'll get one health. And if neither succeeds, you'll get zero health. Anyways, back to... My spike flail, three physical damage on primary attack is insane because um, on my ranger, as you just saw, I had 18 base. So if you double this, that's six, which is one third or 33.3 repeating percent of my primary damage already. That's a huge increase. Um, stuff like this can be very significant for some characters and not so significant on other ones. For example, on my Thief, I maxed out, and my Twin Daggers 6 does 16 physical damage. Add 6 to that, that's 22. That's a huge increase. Um, that's why stuff like that is really good for certain people. Um, and as always, I would say, on any primary build, the most important items to you are... Uh, well, it kind of changes based on your stage of, of gameplay. Later on... Um, I run this build that Puigs does, which is based on luck and critting. And so luck is really important. Crit chance is really important. And those come first. Um, but just in general, um, anything with primary damage or on primary attack is huge for any primary build. Um, I would say luck and... Luck and crit chance um, are put higher but only if you're running builds that require it. Um, I would say on any character, percent chances are very viable though. 6% evasion, no one wants to pass that up. That's free a free chance to not take damage. Um, more important on some than others. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much how this works. Uh, you know, th there's separate items that are more important than others based on what build in particular you want to go um the build i was talking about you would roll a lucky hat in the shop which gives you eight luck when you have it attuned and you would or or a heart seeker in the shop which gives you two yet again it's separate 12.5 percent chances to uh score a critical hit on primary attack and then you would craft the other one. And then you would get tons of luck, which increases percent chances, and then tons of crit, which increases your chance just in general. And so those work really well together to make you crit a lot, and then you get the benefits. Um, but yeah, in general, I'm just gonna go through from the bottom to the top. I know this video is getting a little bit long. Uh, so I'm gonna go through bottom of the top, tell you what items I would say are important and why. Uh, Wizard wand, important primary attack. Uh, Stilet is okay. Um, Spike flail, huge. Uh, slippery, cloak, slippery cloak, huge for evasion. This is crit chance, so it's huge. Evade, huge. Uh, movement speed actually is really nice. Um, so I would say these are good. Of course, they're not necessary, but moving faster is always nicer. Uh, Pot Helm's pretty okay. It's a percent chance. Mana Stone and Life Stone are... They're, they're borderline... I would say they're right above the tier of bad. Um, because they do stuff for you, but it's not super significant. Uh, Lucky Charm is huge. Uh, this is a really powerful pickup for attuning. Um... Left boot of speed, same thing as the right. Blowing staff gives you one magic damage on primary attack, so it's okay, but you're better off doing stuff like wizard wand and
spike flail gladiator's net i really like i would say this one's really good a three second disarm really helps you with clearing uh mob density so it's really nice um firm buckler 25 percent chance to block five physical damage yet again this acts like two items so you have a chance to block up to 10 that's pretty big um enchanted dirk very similar to wizard wand except it splits it down the middle you got one ma one magic and one physical rather than two magic kind of like the the child of spike flail and wizard wand uh coded arrow percent chance it's pretty okay uh if you're running ozreth the statue this is very important um Let's see what else. We got Blackjack right here. Very good. Gives you a chance to stun. Uh, Wanda Spell Piercing. Very good. Because you can do a lot of magical damage. So this is really good. Tower Shield, I would say, is for the same reason as Firm Buckler, is very good. You have a potential to block up to 50 damage. Stinger's okay. Unstable casting is huge. When you're running skill builds, you're always going to want to grab this. Shaftlock pickaxe. This one is incredible for getting ore. So on my other profile, if I had this um, blueprint, I would run this almost every single time because I really need ore for my town and stuff like that. Let's see here. Scare protection's pretty good. Uh, the seals are okay. Ring of transmutation is kind of um, yes and no. I feel like this would be really good on priest because you have a mana shield. I don't really play priest though. Rapier retaliation, great. Gives you evade chance. Uh, you get a damage buff. That's amazing. Pendant of Penance is huge when you're running uh, Incendiary Demise because Incendiary Demise lights you on fire. Lighting you on fire is a debuff, and debuffs give you extra damage, so therefore it's an infinite extra damage buff. This is huge. Markham's Stone. This is the other counterpart to the uh, Markham, uh, not Markham's pickaxe, the Shaftlock pickaxe. If you want to get ore, grab this. Uh, doubling down on it means you get 4% per, per item in your inventory. So at 20 items, that is 80%. At 40 items, that's 160, and so that's a guaranteed extra ore with a 60, ex 60 extra percent chance for another one. That's insane. Um, lucky Horseshoe, luck, as always. This is very important. Keyring, this isn't important, even though it's a percent chance, but it's really nice. Um, the reason I would say this is that this is arguably important is uh, it gives you a chance for... Uh, more ace keys which you can't buy in the shop later on key costs are so low that they don't really matter and so ace keys are your only issue um let's see nothing i don't know too much about these new items um so anything that i don't have attuned in the white section i think i have all the whites attuned um but anything that was down there that had the little star red, I may not have known about. These are two newer items that I can't really comment on. Uh, Claymore, physical damage on primary, huge. Five, five physical damage. Let me put that into perspective again. I have 16, so enhanced, that's 10. That's almost doubling my damage. Uh, Bracelet of Quickness, attack speed is always nice on primary builds. Blood Dagger is kind of like vamp but not really the important part here is current health when you're low this doesn't do too much for you but it's still nice to have assassin's dagger is crit very nice um this stuff not particularly great blue items there's a lot of good ones it really depends on what you want like you could argue that this is the best item ever because the 25 percent chance to do 40 magical damage in a small area when it when dying is incredible Especially when you get two of those because you can blow them up twice and then when when that kills more enemies you get to roll another two and you know so on and so forth. Uh, 40 attack power. Um, 
attack power is a percentage scaling this becomes less and less viable as the game goes on but at the start it's really good stormcaller just like talisman i would say is you know arguably really good but you can also argue that it's not useful this is the other very important item for skill builds you're going to want to crit a lot with your skills oh uh, let's see here Marking stuff just in general I really like. Gaining stuff per item in your inventory feels really nice. Especially Markham's Amulet. I really like Markham's Amulet. Uh, but in a non-biased view, these are these are okay. Uh, Scepter Kings for the same stuff as Sword of Kings, really. Lucky Hat and Heart Seeker, these are the two huge items. Um, I could talk about these all day. Judgment. I'm gonna take a special second to talk about Judgment. If you read the first line of this, it says plus 12 physical damage on primary attack. I have 16. That means with this, I gain 24. That is huge. Absolutely bonkers for anyone that doesn't have that much or base physical that's running a physical build. Um, this is a great item, even without the second part of it which is every seventh primary attack hit lowers the health of the target by 2.5 percent now the reason that this is crazy is because um this can get procced off of divine strike and stuff like that so when you're playing thief and you have this and you're hitting really really fast because that's what the thief does you proc judgment a lot and it does a lot of damage. It's a very important item, but even so, when you're running crit build, the crit luck build, this pales in comparison to either Heart Seeker or Lucky Hat. But this is probably my favorite item in the game. Um, Frostbrand and Flame Tongue both give five magical damage on primary attack. The reason I would say that you don't want to attune these is that claymore exists claymore also gives five ma uh, five primary i mean sorry physical damage on your primary attack however it's a green item so it's much less expensive to attune a uh, dwarven pickaxe is another way to get ore uh if you run pyramids of prophecy there's tons of constructs there and so you get a ton of ore off of constructs and so you get a lot of ore that way Earth Splitter is one of my favorite items. It's one of those items that I said you can argue for. Uh, it's my personal favorite, but if you're running like Ranger, this is useless. A Duel of Sedge is great because, it's ev because of evasion. It's 16%. It's not actually 16%, but you know. Uh, Keep of the Flame Walker is a nice item. You can't enhance it. Bloodthirst String is pretty good. Uh, armor Kings is 30 free armor is very nice. Amulet of Vengeance. Chance to trigger combo, very nice. And Amulet Kings. 